Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Can you just worship him? Just worship him. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Wow. Thank you. 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 I see a great, a very mighty deliverance, a mighty miracle that just happened. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Something that somebody has been battling with for some time now. The healing has come. The healing has come. The answer has come. The answer has come. Thank you. The answer has come. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name forever. The burdens are lifted. Thank you, Jesus. The burdens are lifted. The burdens are lifted. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see angelic visitation for somebody, about three of you. I see angelic visitation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You have been praying. You have been saying, Lord, I want this encounter with God. I want to have this encounter. I see angelic visitation. Oh, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My Savior. My Savior. My Savior. All the time. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name forever, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There is somebody you have been really, you have been praying for the deliverance of your family. You have been praying that the Lord should deliver your family. And the Lord said he has sent a coal of fire into your family. I see a coal of fire move into your family. So there is, there is the, 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 the mighty wind of deliverance that is going to blow in your family and you will see manifestations. People will be turning to God and mass. Re-salvation, not, they will be turning to God and mass. They will be turning to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see healing for a man, healing for a young man. You've been medicating, 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 but there is healing in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. This healing is not coming because of your prayer. This healing is coming because somebody prayed for you. Somebody have been interceding and have been praying for you. So the healing has come. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just worship him. Give him all the praise and all the glory. What a mighty God we serve. My God, thank you. Thank I didn't plan for this. This is not what I want. This is not what I want to pray about tonight. But that's how the Holy Spirit chose to start. Holy Spirit, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for starting with us like this. Blessed be your name forever. Blessed be your name forever. Somebody in your dream, you saw that they were pulling your hair. You were pulling your hair. You were pulling your hair. In the name of Jesus, every power that has been struggling with your glory, dragging your glory with you today, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, let their hand wither. In the name of Jesus, let their hand wither. In the name of Jesus. Manaka shapala badi adakata. Roboso le breketo shkata bayanama. Zeketo. There's somebody else. There is strong fear. I don't know what the fear is about, but I see strong fear. Fear, fear, fear. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of fear. You are so concerned about this matter, about the issue, and there is so much fear in your heart. In the name of Jesus, it is not just, it is no longer a concern. The Lord said that what is happening now is that the devil is creating the spirit of fear. The spirit of fear is have taken over. I rebuke 
that spirit of fear. Now, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit of fear. Now, in the name of Jesus, he that the son set free is free indeed. Blessed be your name forever, O God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Tonight, we are going to be doing some prayers. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We'll be praying prayers that, is, that I have titled Deliverance from Evil Law. Deliverance from evil laws. I will read some set of scriptures. I will explain some things and then we will pray. If we can't finish the prayer today, I will move it to the prayer mountain on Saturday morning. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 25 and 26. I want every one of you to listen very well. You can send the link to somebody that you know need to be here now. Just send the link as a reminder to that person and let them connect with us right now. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 24 and 25. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee, and I will save your children. You should be saying amen to that one. <laughs> very, very important. You know? But it started from a point where I am going. There is a word I want to take from there in verse 24. He calls the word lawful, captive. Lawful, captive. Lawful, captive. Now, this kind of captivity is a captivity that is predicated upon a law. A law was either, has either been broken or a law has been contravened. And because this law has been broken, there are consequences that actually follow the breaking of these laws. Now, Matthew chapter four began to show us the story of Jesus. And I want to pray two prayers. Yes, two prayers on that. But I will first of all show you Matthew chapter four, verse eight. In Matthew 4, 8, the Bible said, again, the devil took him to a very high mountain. Wait, you, you know the rest. The word, the devil took him. Who did the devil take? You know who the devil is taking? <laughs> uh, Jesus. The Bible says, in this human flesh, this human carton, for flesh, the devil had the capacity to take Jesus. The devil took him. The devil took him. Can I pray for someone hearing me right now? Wherever you are, you are hearing me from. In the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ, son of the living God, anywhere the enemy has taken you to, I command them to leave you now. In the name of Jesus, I command them to leave you now by fire. Let them lose your lose you. Let them leave you alone. Let them leave you alone. Let the sickness leave you alone. Let the weakness leave you alone. Let the evil arrows go back to sender. In the name of Jesus, every law that have made them to hold on, every law that have made them to keep fighting you, every law that have made them to keep attacking, as I pray now in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord be broken. Let the Lord be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. 
as you hear the sound of my voice, I decree and I declare, they are letting you go. They are letting you go. He said to Moses, he said, go and tell Pharaoh, let my children go. Let my people go. Let my children go. God is a God of deliverance. God is a God of freedom. I speak into your life in the name of Jesus. If devil can take Jesus, the Bible says, then the devil took him. He took him. The devil took him. There are so many people the devil has taken. They don't even know the devil has taken them. They don't know. But I pray for you as you hear the sound of my voice tonight. Anywhere they have taken you to, anywhere I decree, let fire burn. Let fire burn against them. Let fire burn against them. In the name of Jesus, somebody threatened you before. Someone threatened you and said, you are is going to... He, she is going to deal with you. He's going to deal with you. But like, hear me, hear me, hear me. If I be a man of God, I decree and I declare. Ashamaladuakatiamanoskaibada. I decree and I declare. Let their power fail them. In the name of Jesus, let them leave you alone. Let them lose contact of you. In the name of Jesus. Let let the fire of God answer for you. Hey, let the fire of God answer for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will read that same part, that same verse in Luke. The same account of Jesus' temptation. Now, I will read it in the book of Luke. It's in Luke chapter 4, verse 9. Before we read it, we read the same account from Matthew 4, 8. Now look at Luke chapter 4, verse 9. Luke used another word that touched me. He said, then the devil led him. You know, the Bible said, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. It is not only, only Holy Spirit that lead people. Devil can lead people. Hey, 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 my God, you must be careful so that it is not the devil. Be careful who you listen to because the devil can lead people to you. Ah, you didn't get me. Hey, the devil can lead people to you. It doesn't matter whether they are pastors. It doesn't matter whether they, don't, it doesn't matter who they are. It doesn't matter the title they carry. <laughs> the devil can lead them to you. But can I pray for you in the name that is above every other name? I decree and I declare, Ascopali Dekosa, Emara Shadabaka, every power, any messenger of the devil that have been led to you, I decree today, let fire reply them. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost reply them. Yekuma, I think they want answer. Let the Holy Ghost fire answer them. Uh -huh. Let the Holy Ghost fire answer on your behalf. Let Jesus answer on your behalf. Let heaven answer on your behalf. In the name of Jesus Christ. My God. Let me quickly share something. Some time ago, a brother had an issue with his lecturer in the university. And then this lecturer threatened this boy and said, you will not graduate as long as I'm in this school. The first year the boy was supposed to graduate, it was that lecturer's course that he did not pass. And he, re he repeated. He carried over that particular course. He did it the following year. He carried it over. The lecturer went back to him. He said, I have told you, as long as I am in this school, you will not graduate from this school. You will not graduate from this school. Hey, hey. so be This brother entered into prayer and fasting, began to change some things in the realm of the spirit. I told him, that, look, if you don't pray, things will not change. He began to pray. He was praying crazily. He was praying like a mad person. He, he was on, on sitting that lecturer. He unseated him. When he got to the third year, the lecturer was sent on a compulsory leave. Not, this was a compulsory leave. Normally, he is entitled to, to sabbatical. He is entitled to many things. But on this particular occasion, it, 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 uh, it was from the Senate. They sent him on a compulsory leave. Can I pray for you? 
you don't know the kind of God you serve. In the name that is above every name, whoever has decided to take sleep from your eye, may God judge them instantly. May the judgment of Ananias and Sapphira come upon them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I read another scripture? You remember we have read the devil take at him. It, I will take some time to really do that prayer sometime in time to come. You know, and then we read the devil led him. <laughs> uh, hey, in verse 14, in verse 11 of Matthew chapter 4, Matthew chapter 4, verse 11. Take note of this one. How I wish you would you, you would go and watch this, this prayer, prayer meeting again and pray all this prayer. I always want you to pray it over and over again. We don't have enough time to really do them. Now, Matthew 4, verse 11. The Bible says, then the devil left him. He took him, but he got to the point he was too hot to be taken. He left him. <laughs> then the devil left him. Then the devil left him. When the devil left him, angels came. Until the devil left, angels didn't come. I'm talking about Jesus. If it happened to Jesus, what about me and you? That's what I'm talking about. Then the devil left him. The devil liveth him, according to King James Version. Then the devil liveth him. I pray for you. As you hear the sound of my voice, I command that evil spirit to leave you now in the name of Jesus. I command that sickness to leave you alone now in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit of losses to leave you now in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of disappointment to leave you now in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of spiritual weakness to leave you now in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of prayerlessness to leave you now in the name of Jesus. I command the spirit of spiritual lukewarmness and weakness to leave you now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of death in the family, every spirit of affliction in the family, every spirit of depression in the home and in the life of people, I command that spirit to leave you now in the name of Jesus. Who am I praying for? I command the spirit to leave you now in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to type amen. Begin to type it as you are saying it. You know, you know what amen means. The word amen means so shall it be. So be it. So be it. As you are saying it, so be it for your family. So be it in your life. In the name of Jesus. In Namus Kali Adaba. He said, then the devil left him. The devil left him. The devil left him. They left him alone. If they left Jesus alone, there is no power on earth earth and in heaven and under the earth that can stop them that can stop you i decree now let them leave you alone let them leave you alone let the sickness leave you alone let the weakness leave you alone let the eye condition leave you alone let the stomach upset leave you alone let the weakness and the pain in your waist area in the back line in your upper back and your lower back let them leave you alone in the name of jesus i command them to go 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 i command them to go, command them to go. the devil was not scared to come to Jesus. He attached, and the Bible said he took him. Ayababa 
The devil took him, but the devil left him. I speak over your life. It is time for them to leave. I command them to leave your family. I command them to leave your family. I command them to leave you. Let them leave you. Let them leave you. Let them leave your marriage. Let them leave your marital destiny. I command them to leave. I command them to leave. Leave your job. Leave your office. I command them to leave you alone. I command them to leave you alone. Whoever has gone behind you to spoil your reputation, to spoil your name before your helpers, I discredit them before heaven. I command them to leave. I command them to leave you. I command them to leave you. I command them to leave you now in the name of Jesus. Whoever discredited you before your helpers, I discredit them before heaven. Oh my God. May mercy not favor them. Those who turned their back against you to fight you as an enemy, to fight you on an assignment from the devil, I speak against them. And I speak against the forces that is controlling them. I decree and I declare, let the power of the heaven, the power of the devil, leave me. Le Caruza, Ieko Sotoma, Likada Bada, Leko Jama, Ezezizia, Oporodo Koto, Imeleka, 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 Ielebosa, 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 Ikamanadosa, Eligadabaya. Eligada Bogodosa, Ibroko Shamana, Tida Doseada, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mokosoliada Bayada, Elegedo Sokotomaya, Imbreketo Zikalaba, Roche Badabada, Roche Badabada, Eligado Zokete Limanaka, Rokosote Legedia, Ibada Dada, Eligo Jima, O Brogodo Zekete, Mikolo do Bokota, Mali Gasa, Mali Gasa, O Topokoto Zielegediada. Then the devil left him. The devil left him. The devil left and angels came. Angels came until they left. There was no, there was no room for the angels because light and darkness cannot be in the same place. Uh -huh. The devil left him. He was all around. Took, took him to the mountain, took him to the pinnacle of the temple. He was he was messing up. He was taking him everywhere. He was leading. He was, ah, one day, Makelia, he got to a point and Jesus gave him a technical knockout. And the Bible said the devil couldn't stand it. He left him. He left him. Even though he left him for a season, but he left him. I speak over your life. They leave you now. Oh my goodness. They leave you forever. In the name of Jesus, they leave you now, they leave you forever. That sickness will not, from the root, I uproot it. From the root, I uproot it. I say I uproot it now. In the name of Jesus, I uproot it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen to this. Make case you that ah, I receive I receive this message now. May your own helpers locate you now in the name of Jesus. Oh my goodness. May your own helpers, your own helpers locate you now in the name of Jesus. Can I can I pray before I get to this the main prayer? I've not even gotten to the main prayer. But now let, let me share something with you so that I can use that to pray for you. Ah! My God, I feel the power of God. I feel the anointing of God upon my life. I feel strong anointing now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Nobody here will receive a call for emergency funeral service. Emergency attack. Uh, what you never planned for. As I pray now, you will not receive that call. Mm -mm. It will not happen. It will not happen. It will not happen. We have the power to give extension for life. As I decree now, every messenger of death, I send them back to sender. They will not land in your house. They will not know your address. They will not know you in the name of Jesus. They will not come to me. They will not come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, the Bible said that there was a man, there was a man, Jesus, you know, when he was on his way to the cross of Calvary. 
He, he was carrying that, that cross, that heavy cross on him. He couldn't, you know, he got to a time he fell. The Bible said that there was, there was a man. He came, he took that cross from Jesus, put it on his own shoulder. Ah, <laughs> may God send your own helper to you. Listen, there are customized helpers. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't hear me. <laughs> Listen, there are customized helpers. That is helpers made for just, just you. Ah, just you. May God Almighty bring more to you. Hey, may God Almighty bring more customized helpers. Those who will carry the cross. Those who will tell you, relax. You relax, we will carry this for you. In the name of Jesus, may they locate you in a hurry. Aya, may they locate you in a hurry. May they locate you in a hurry. May they locate you in a hurry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Maladia kasata kata bayada. Legedo kosote liada bagada. Rasho baladia daka. What is a law? I'm praying against laws, deliverance from evil laws, from satanic laws. What is a law? I will take my time a little bit here. This, a law is the system of rules or a system of rules which a particular country or community recognizes as regulating the actions of its members and which it may enforced by the imposition of penalties. Big grammar, I'll explain it. <laughs> you know, a law is a system of rules. It operates, these are rules that operate within a system. And now, especially in a particular country, a community, or a locality, and now this law is made to regulate the actions of the people that reside within that environment, within that area. <laughs> and then it is, you know, breaking of any of this kind of law automatically imposes a penalty. Another definition says a rule may be defined as the correct procedure or behavior. Correct procedure or behavior. This is the one I want you to take note of. Very, very, very important because it makes a lot of spiritual sense. This definition is a statement of fact deduced from observation. Take note to the effect that a particular natural or scientific phenomenon always occur if certain conditions are present. <laughs> hey, if certain conditions are present, the law naturally, spiritually, physically, scientifically will take its natural course. As long as the conditions that activate the laws are actually present. Brothers and sisters, this is not the topic I can finish in one go, but we will do prayer tonight. There are laws, different kind of laws. In fact, the Bible showed us so many laws. So many. Even the Bible itself is seen by so many people or is viewed by so many people as a book of laws. I see it as the book of grace. Now, one very interesting thing about a law is that it is binding on people. Even when the said people don't even know why. They don't even know why the law came into effect. They don't even know where it was first declared. 
They don't even know how that law came into effect. So people that are, fact, all of us, most people on that law don't even know where these laws were made. Ignorance of an existing law does not exempt you from its consequences, bringing it to the spiritual. Ignorance of an existing spiritual law that is at play, at work within your family, at work within a particular company or a particular area, a particular place where you live or where you stay, ignorance of that spiritual law that governs that environment or your family is not an excuse to exempt you from its consequences. Once the existing conditions are present, a law is therefore binding and it must have its natural cause. Can I pray for somebody here? Permit me to pray. Permit me to pray for your bloodline. Permit me to pray for your children. Permit me to pray for you. Permit me. In the name that is above every other name, I decree and I declare as an oracle of God that every law, every law that has been waiting for the, for the conditions in order to activate itself, today, I are disallowed. I annul, I abrogate that law. I decree today that law is hereby declared null and void. Is declared abrogated. In the name of Jesus, it is canceled. That evil law, that wicked law that always comes as a way of death, that comes as a way of sickness, a, a way of family line, bloodline sickness, bloodline evil, bloodline attack. As I pray now, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, let the law submit. Let the law fail. Let the law be broken now. In the name of Jesus. Can I quickly share with you? Do you know the prevailing, the, 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 the existing conditions that activates laws within your family? And you, do you know? Do you know? The, because you don't know because you were not there. When the contracts were made, you were not there. You were not there. When they signed their spiritual papers for the exchange to take, you were not there. That is why you must be careful who you marry. You must be careful where you enter. Why? The truth is this. Hey, my God, help me here. In the name that is above every other name. Can, let me quickly do this prayer. In the name that is above every other name. Every existing condition that activates negative laws within marriage today. I decree and I declare by your permission. If you are praying, if you are not praying, you are not helping yourself now. In the, if you are not connecting with me in the spirit, you are not helping yourself now. I decree that that existing condition that activates the negative law within your family, within your marriage today, I decree and end to it. Hey, Tabu Shama, Adobe Legedia. I decree and I declare, let them not be activated. Oh my God. Let them not be activated anymore. May the condition, the existing conditions not be met. Hey, your children will not meet that that existing condition that we activate the cause within the family. Hey, they will not meet that existing condition. They will not meet it. They will not meet it. They will not meet it in the name of Jesus. Some, some years back, can me, let me quickly share this with you. There was this pre there was this pre-existing spiritual condition within my family. And my daddy, when he gave his life to Christ, he became a victim. Before he gave his life to Christ, he became a victim of that pre-existing condition. Now, when, after he gave his life to Christ and we began, we started getting married, my daddy began to tell us that, look, there is this thing in this family. It must not replicate in your own life and in your own family. 
And then we began to pray. We began to take spiritual steps and spiritual actions to make sure they don't happen. One day, my brother went on a journey to activate the pre-existing condition. He thought, yeah, 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 yeah. He thought that that law has gone to sleep. There are many laws that went to sleep. There are many laws that went into comatose. But there are existing spiritual conditions that some people has, there are buttons that ignorantly some people have pushed. The day they pushed that button, all the demons that were sleeping before within the family, they were all activated. They all came up to read a lot. They woke us up. We said it. We said it that somebody within this family will come back for us. Ah, they walked. They, he went on that journey and activated it. He immediately activated that law. It became a tug of war. Every war is every war you see, whether in the physical realm or in the spiritual realm, came to be as a result of a law that was broken, a law that was contravened, a law that was that was activated, and things began to happen. No law work alone. In the name that is above every name, I have a short time now. I'll just stop it here. I'll just stop it just there because I've not gone anywhere. I'll just stop it there. In the name that is above every name, your husband will not go on a journey that will push the button of an evil law. Your wife will not go on a journey that will push the button of an evil law. In the name of Jesus, you yourself, you will not activate any negative law in your life. You will not activate any negative law in your family. Listen to me, there are physical laws. There are spiritual laws. Physical laws are broken down into different, different ways. There is traffic law. There is government law. There is family law. But family law has both physical and they have both spiritual. Can I pray for someone hearing me? In the name that is above every other name, in the name that is above every other name, I silence the voice of the accuser. Hey, every court, when you see people in court, when you see people in court, what are they talking about? A law. They are discussing law. They are discussing law. Either a law that has been broken or they are trying to interpret a law that has been passed. If you are in Canada, where I, where I am, you will understand that no, no, nothing is passed. No legislation is passed until there is a royal consent. It is the royal consent that is the final stage of every law. I speak into your life today. There was a royal consent. There was an authority figure that actually activated that law in your family. Can I pray in the name of Jesus? Every law that was activated, contracted by a physical authority, I today come as a spiritual authority within the physical realm. I cancel the evil law. I destroy that law. It will no longer cold sweat. It will no longer hold water. I cancel it now. The law of sickness is broken. The law of sin and death is broken. In the name of Jesus, in the the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, take over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can I quickly show you something? I have just one minute. Can I quickly show you something? My God, in the book of Joshua, chapter 6, verse 26, Joshua, chapter 6, verse 26, Joshua ended up destroying Jericho according to the word of God. He destroyed Jericho, finished the whole city down to rubbles. This was what happened. The last statement of Joshua on top of Jericho, upon Jericho, was this. Joshua chapter 6, verse 26. At that time, Joshua pronounced this solemn oath. Thus be before the Lord. Is the man who undertakes to rebuild this city, Jericho. At the cost of his firstborn, he will lay his foundation. 
And at the cost of his youngest son, he will set up the gates. He will complete it. That's the meaning. First Kings, in First Kings chapter 16, verse 34, <laughs> somebody went to push the button. Somebody went to push the button of this law. He, people thought it was just a statement. Many people thought it was just a statement of victory. Mm -mm. Look at First Kings chapter 16, First Kings chapter 16, verse 34. The Bible says, in Ahab's time, so many, many years later, here of Bethel rebuilt Jericho. He laid the foundation at the cost of his firstborn, Abiram. And he set up his gate at the cost of his youngest innocent son, Segub, in accordance with the word of the Lord spoken by Joshua, the son of Nun. Listen, this don't just happen. <laughs> the laws. Can I pray for somebody here? Any evil law looking for the head of your son, today they miss him in the name of Jesus. They will miss target in the name of Jesus. Every evil law looking for the head of your daughter, Today, they miss you. They miss her. They will miss target in the name of Jesus. Every evil Lord looking for you. Today, they miss you. They miss target in the name of Jesus Christ. Evil Lord looking for your husband. Hey, Baruga Dialaga. I don't know what is happening within their family or within your family. Today, that evil Lord, you escape. Today, by fire, you escape. You are exempted in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name forever. Now open your mouth, begin to declare, I am free. Begin to declare, I am free indeed. I am free indeed. I am free indeed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead, go ahead, type it there. I am free indeed. I am free in the name of Jesus. Makato zelia dabaka. Roboko so beli damadia. Rose kete li bada masha. Aba baba ba. Ye geli busho baradakata. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.